I'm going to be showing you a new tweak from Cydia called Spring to Mice 2 for iOS 5. Yeah. The package description, it says it requires iOS 5 or higher. Works on all iOS device, 5 devices. Spring to Mice 2 allows you to customize your springboard to make it look and feel how you want. It provides plenty of options to modify even the littlest aspect of your device. Spring to Mize is really the only tweak you need to customize your device and it provides all the settings you may need in a single convenient interface. Now I will show you the settings. Just thought I'd read that to you. Here you, in the settings you can enable it and it's got a whole bunch of different things and places that you can customize pretty much like it said anything on your springboard animations you can have custom duration display gamma I'm, you can change the color I'm guessing slow motion mode app to app transition I turned that on so when you go to another app it just goes up instead like that old TV animation which is this pretty cool um, you can have it play a sound if you want you can change the color screenshot flash so when you take a picture I have it flash red instead of white capabilities you can you need to enable custom capabilities in order to apply any modifications. Switch on the capabilities if you want to keep enabled. I do not have this on, but so you can turn on any of these things on or off from right here. Dock. You can hide the dock, hide labels, hide the reflection, hide shadow, use custom number icons and dock and change that there and enable cover flow effect and adjust the way the icons are set lock screen display seconds always charging always show WP disable camera button always show camera hide top bar disable artwork and delay you can delay the dimming which I did I turned it to 60 seconds so when I am showing a box screen theme in a video or something it does not keep turning off on me slider you can hide the knob custom label and you turn that on and then you can enter in a custom label down here icons you can hide the labels there lock moving Disable jittering, disable uninstalling, use custom number, icons per line, turn on five rows. You can resize the icons, you can resize the dock icons, and the switcher icons. You can hide the newsstand, you can hide the Spring to Mice app that goes on your springboard, and you can also hide any other app. When you enable this, you can go in and hide any app that you would like hidden from your springboard. You can disable badges and two tap to clear badge and then you choose the icons you want that enabled for. Folders if you have those you can turn any of these things on. Folders, close box, hide preview, disable animation, hide background, hide label, disable badges, auto close, create and dock, use custom number and icons per line. App switcher you can have it so it does the app switcher when you're I can't do it now but when you turn your phone from the portrait mode to when you're on Safari or something in landscape mode you can use your app switcher in landscape mode start editing disable paging start with iPod disable badges brightness slider Custom icons, icons in switcher, and inactive apps handling. Time machine, that's backup options and restore options, and automatic backup. Status bar, 
you can use a custom carrier. I use Zeppelin so I can have an actual logo there, but you can all, instead of saying Verizon or AT&T, you can type your own thing there. You can use custom time. You can hide any of these things from your status bar. Pages, you can hide the dots, remove page limits, which I have on, just in case I ever feel uh, the need to have that many pages. Disable the spotlight and disable paging. Theming, I don't think some of these work when you just turn them on. Choose dock, it just comes up with no dock. Custom battery, it just comes up with cancel. Icon labels, custom font, select font, custom size, custom color, you can select the color, icons, opacity, image effect, lock screen, you can change the clock color. Notification center, you can turn that off. You can put a custom blurry background, instant clear, custom lines, and the maximum amount of lines. Under more, just the documentation. Settings files, settings bundles, mobile substrate add-ons, report a problem, or request a feature. I think overall it's a pretty cool app. You can do quite a few things with it. Like I said, it shows up with an app for the settings of Spring to Mice 2, and it puts an app on your springboard so you can access any of these things pretty cool it lets you customize pretty much any aspect of your um, springboard if there's something you want to customize with it it's probably you're probably gonna be able to do it with this you can do so much with this one app when I found this I thought that was pretty awesome that you can do or you could download one app and it lets you do so many things with it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Spring to Mice 2. Check out my other videos like this. It helps me out. Comment with any questions or any future videos you'd like me to do. And most importantly, please subscribe to me. I'm trying to get this channel going and I need you guys to help me out with that. Thanks a bunch. Peace.